All right, uh, we are live. So welcome in. Uh, kind of a quiet day. So we're starting where we left off yesterday at uh, Todd the Blaster. And uh, we're doing 80s music today for as long as we can. And uh, nobody here. So same ship, but we're going to switch the ship around just a tad. And let me turn the music down just a bit. So let's go. So there's nobody in Super Cruise. Uh, we're fairly close to the star here. So we're going to go back to home base. And just uh, switch a few modules around. I'm going to keep using the same, uh, same ship today for as long as I can. And if we could make it a little bit, uh, running a little bit cooler, hopefully. Uh, Tavarsh Dima. Hey, welcome in. Happy Saturday morning. Um, at some point in the stream, I wouldn't mind going out there. Just take, uh, take a look at it.
I have to look up what system it is uh, it's in. Unless you know offhand. Uh, my understanding is it's in the bubble, so uh, it's not like we would have to travel too far to get there. But uh, I figure we'll start the day off looking for bounties. Uh, if we can get a bounty right off the bat, then the rest of the stream, <laughs> no pressure. So. So let's make some changes here. I add sector. Well, let me just copy that. Copy. Two hundred seven light years. That's not so bad. Let's put that there. Alright, so these never actually worked. <laughs> so let's replace that. We're not going to do any engineering, We're just going to move stuff around. So this is sturdy, sturdy. These are regular railguns, long range. So we have to go long range. So. Super penetrators. Okay, we'll put these on. And same thing there. Long range super penetrator. So I've been spoiled with the Imperial Hammers, so this ship will just have regulars. But, uh, that's probably more effective than the Super Penetrator Torpedoes. So. Right. And, because the ship is so freaking hot, um, I'm going to get rid of a shield booster. This is a resistance, this is a heavy duty. I'll get rid of the heavy. Now I'll get rid of the resistance. <laughs> and let's put a, uh, a heat sink launcher on there. The rest of that is fine. The rest of that is fine.
right, so. The Lawrence scanner is uh, four. Wake scanner, four. Railgun is two. Railgun is two. Power is a problem. Same shift drive. Cargo hatch is five. Interdictor can be a five because you don't need that once you drop. Same thing with the fuel scoop. Uh, I don't think we've actually saved enough power here. Check out the power plant. Oh, there's the problem. Thermal spread. Alright, we can fix that. We have to go down that way anyway. So we're going to make a quick trip off to uh, Desiat. Change this from thermal spread to uh, overcharged. Then we'll have enough power. And that should do it. Right, make sure that uh, the power groups are all set. Real guns are one. Plasmas are two. That works. That makes that makes sense. And let's go to Desiat. And somebody's here. Commander Malice Pater. Well, we'll see what happens. We're on our way to Desiat. So welcome in, folks, on a Saturday morning. I see that we have a few folks here, so welcome in. Um, so a different ship. Normally I play the crate. And if you're new to the channel, uh, PvP bounty hunting is what I like to do. Uh, yesterday was mostly uh, power play with one attempt to get a player's bounty, but he was definitely in a better uh, armed and armored ship than mine. So uh, it was close, but no cigar. But we did get a couple um, power play, power play kills. Off to Desiat. So the only reason I'm going to Desiat uh, is that there's the uh, the engineer there will put on the well actually two reasons the engineer will put on the special effect for the power plant so uh, for overcharged and we'll be looking for players with bounties so two birds one stone but we definitely have to get the uh, power plant taken care of before uh, before any boom boom otherwise everything drops offline. Unless I start turning up. You know what? We could actually save just in case. Let's do this here. Well, let's get recharged first. Right, so, what we can do is turn off uh, one of the shield cell banks. And that should do it uh, until we get the Desiat. So at least uh, if I do find somebody, we can at least do uh, Boom Boom. I won't have all the stuff, but it will be close enough. And we'll see how long we can keep the 80s music playing. My record has been an hour and a half. Uh, before I get the first uh, warning from my uh, YouTube. So. Fingers crossed. Uh, five jumps. Which reminds me, uh, before we do the jump, Tellurium, how much of that have I got?
don't, not enough. All right. I was thinking if I had enough tellurium, I would get one of those pre-engineered frame shift drives. Um, but not to be, not today anyway. I'd have to trade for the tellurium, or I'd have to do a part of the stream where I'm driving around collecting tellurium. And uh, I don't want to trade for it, and you guys don't want to watch me collecting it, so... Off we go. Rendell, the monster. Hey, good morning, L. I'm blushing, thank you. I have been called beautiful since the last time I brought my car in for uh, serious maintenance. And the mechanic was like, ah, oh, thank you, God. <laughs> you really need to do the, uh, the grind for the FST booster. Yep, I know. I totally know. I was shooting other mecha, just got out of group drops. That's why you're, you're late again, Al. What, are, what, are, what did we talk about, Al, about being late? <laughs> Alright, so if you're just tuning in, I see we have a few more folks here. Uh, so normally, like I said, I fly the crate. Uh, this is a little bit different. I've switched some of the parts around this morning on stream. So I got rid of the uh, super penetrator torpedoes, replaced those with railguns, uh, long range, just regular railguns. So long range super penetrator railguns. The uh, advanced plasmas are the same. I took off one of the shield boosters and replaced that with a heat sink because I was frying my ship yesterday. And we're just going to make a very small tweak to the power plant at Desiat. Oh, I don't know if I said welcome in Sid Pokey, but uh, welcome in as well. All right, folks, next stop is Desiat. And if you're curious about uh, the ship, I, uh, there we go. That's, that's the paint job that you want, but you can't get it unless you already um, pre-bought uh, Horizons back in the day. But if you are going to spend your arcs uh, this week and you have a Python, uh, I would suggest that you get the ship kit if you have the arcs for it. This uh, This literally makes the Python look like a kick-ass ship, so. Doesn't fly any better, but uh, you'll look good doing it.
All right, it doesn't look like we have anybody in Super Cruise and Desi yet. It's fine by me. All right, let's head down to Felicity. And huh. bravo, fire group, for pips to systems. Let's see what happens. Say my odds of when uh, I come to Desiat. Uh, is in dark about 90% of the time. And nobody here. Commander Verius, it just uh, logged in. That was the guy. If you take a at the last video that I posted on uh, on YouTube, like the video, not not the uh, uh, not the VOD. Anyway, that was the guy that. I pulled, I scanned, he had no bounty. Uh, then I suggested maybe you go to solo. And then about uh, 30 seconds later, uh, uh, Ganker drops in. I was already on my way out, but a Ganker drops into the wake, blows him up. Looking forward to the update. Uh, I'm curious about it. Um, yeah, I'm not really... I'm not really into the whole Thargoid thing. 
it's interesting. I know a lot of people are, and that's great. I would have liked it if the game had gone into a more... Maybe a more political, like amongst the human factions, uh, direction. And then the commanders would actually have to pick a side. So let me just show you what I mean here. Alright, let's go under status. So like right now, I'm an admiral in the Federation and I'm a king in the Empire. No, so if they had gone with a more... A war, let's say, between the, the Federation and, uh, and the Empire, you'd have to choose. And then, boom, you're no longer a king in the uh, Empire, you're an admiral in the Federation. And that's it. And uh, you'd have the opportunity to take modules off your ships and whatnot, but you'd no longer have the Imperial-only ships. They're Technically, they're still there, but you just can't fly them. They're locked out until maybe you switch back. And there might be, a, you know, a couple months wait before you can do that. That sort of thing. That's what I would have liked to have seen, but, you know. Good, matter. Uh, good morning, uh, Father Bill. Welcome in. Uh, disappointed that it's become all Thargoid all the time. Yeah. Doing your own thing until the dust settles. Yeah. All right, so let's do the, uh, the power plant. I gotta pay off a fine here first. There we are. 100 credit fine. So, power plant. Now well, we gotta go. Oh, I, I clicked outfitting. Oh well. Uh, enjoy the ride into the hangar here, folks. Yeah, for uh, for Tavorish Dima, they wouldn't have to get rid of the Thargoids. They could still be there, kind of like as a background threat for people that like to do that. But, yeah, I would have liked to have seen more of a, a human type of conflict. And player actions actually would matter, you know. Anyway, so let's uh, go back. Let's go to uh, Engineer Workshop. Go to Power Plant. And make it monstered. Awesome. That's good. I know everything else is fine, just double check it. There. And I can turn the modules back on. Alright, we're good to go. Commander Sirius, welcome in. And just to make sure nothing changed here. Probably the power plant might have changed, but... So the prismatic, the kill warrant, the frameshift wake scanner... Plasmas, railguns... Cargo hatch, life support, sensors... Interdictor, fuel scoop... Heat sink launcher. Yeah, I forgot about that, too. We're good. Let's go. That was kind of a... Uh, for Father Bill, if you're still here, I, I got up really early, and lo and behold, you were already streaming, so holy mackerel. <laughs> that was an uh, early start for the two of us today. And for anybody in chat, if you haven't uh, followed uh, Father Bill on Twitch, um, check him out. Mech Warrior Online, Elite Dangerous, and No Man's Sky are the top three at uh, Father Bill streams. Mostly Elite, though. All right, so let's make our way back to the star. Same as last night, you never know, we might come across somebody flying inbound. 
But normally if you just want to speed things up, it's quicker to jump to another system than jump back if you want to get to a Garay terminal. Going to move with the family. Nice. Got mass this evening. Yeah. With a little look and some tenderness, we'll walk upon the water. We'll rise above the mess with a little peace and some harmony. So I think uh, if, there, if there's nothing happening here in Desiat, we'll go. Uh, we never actually made it to uh, Eurybia yesterday. So I'll go there, then Seoul, and then Shinrata. We'll save the uh, we'll save the best for last. And we'll, uh, depending on how all of that goes and the amount of time, and the Kingfisher is about 200 light years from my home system. So we'll grab the um, the Exploration DBX and maybe go check out the Kingfisher. Or if the people are willing to uh, put up with probably 10 jumps, uh, we'll take the crate. Take the crate out there. Uh, as believe it or not, the crate actually has better jump range than the Python right now. So far, though, nobody here. Oh, aha, I spoke too soon. Look at the bandwidth, bottom left-hand corner. Commander Eternal Waking. Most, oh. <laughs> Let's go to work. So if you're new to the channel, um, I say this all the time. Not ganking, the guy has to have a bounty. And he's mostly harmless. Now, if he had like a 500 credit bounty and a sidewinder, I'd just let him go with a warning. Standard responses. If you can afford an anaconda, you can afford to pay off your bounties. So let's see what happens here. He might not have any bounties, but we'll find out. And he's not power play. He doesn't belong to a faction. And he's queen. You're free to go. 07. If you're going to the Kingfisher, best to take something beefier fast and cold. All right. I have a, uh, believe it or not, I've got an asp that probably fixes that. You took your DBX, you regretted it, went back with the courier, job done. Well, I got a courier as well. I have a uh, one of those. Um, it's super fast. All it has is an interdictor. <laughs> what? Yeah. Actually, I built that because of Father Bill. Back when Father Bill was having all of his wars with uh, trying to hang on to his system. And another uh, player group was interfering with uh, Father Bill's factions. So a few people got uh, couriers with interdictors and just kept interdicting the uh, other faction over and over and over, uh, um, which was kind of funny. Got boring after a while, though. I think they eventually left.
And I think that's it. So we'll hang out near the star for, I don't know, a minute or so. Your phantom was enough to get out of danger at the Kingfisher. Still have memories getting bad about that time. Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot of work to keep that system. Yeah, like you were mentioning there, somebody was putting a lot of effort into, uh, into winning it. All right, so it's 25, 25 seconds past. So at 1541, if nobody else has dropped in, we'll just uh, head over to Eurybia. But, uh, well, we've had our first uh, interdiction anyway of the day, so no complaints there. All right, let's... Uh, Get lined up. Let's go. Oh, I haven't, uh, I haven't plotted the course. There we go. Yeah, I have a Phantom as well. It's pretty fast. And the Phantom's got pretty good jump range, too, so... But what I read is they are uh, completely aggressive, so... They'll come after you no matter what. Uh, Yuna Sakashiro, welcome in, 07. I, uh, activated too soon. All right, there we go. We are three jumps from Eurybia. And, uh, Yuna Sakashir, if you're still here, if you don't mind telling me, how is it that you found the channel? Um, were you just browsing through live, uh, Elite Dangerous, or did it come up as a, as a recommendation? I'm only asking because, um, I'm just curious about Discovery on, uh, YouTube. It's a little bit, well, it's very different than, uh, Twitch. So, just kind of curious, that's all. If you don't mind sharing how it is that uh, you clicked on it. Thargoid interceptor dropping into a Kingfisher degraded mission source. Needed an anti-Xeno ship. Yeah, I have... I think I, I made an anti-Xeno ship with just AX weapons. It might actually be the Phantom. Because you're only allowed to put four AX weapons on a ship, so... I think I used the Phantom for that. It's only got four hard points. Uh, 
I pulled you yesterday. Really? Oh. Ha, ah, there you are. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome in. Obviously, um... Obviously, I didn't blow up your ship. Because, uh... You were playing the game as a legal and you had no bounty, so... Or maybe you did have a bounty, but I wasn't quick enough to get you. I gotta... I have to be honest. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm struggling to remember what I had for breakfast, so... Alright, nobody in Super Cruise? Demolition Unlimited. Yeah, Gauss cannons unlocked, so you build four Gauss cannon, one long-range beam with Thermal Vent Chieftain. Yeah, the Thermal Vent and the Chieftain, that's, uh, they seem to go hand-in-hand hand from what I've seen. The other ship is the Crate Mark II. That, those seem to be the two favorite anti-Xeno ships. Destroyer, welcome in. You never unlocked the, you never unlocked the Gauss cannon. That's an Odyssey bug, then. Um, people have been talking about how in Odyssey, some engineers will just unlock. Like, they never do the mining. And all of a sudden, that engineer, um, whatever her name is in Kook, boom, unlocked. You know, they skip all of that stuff. Uh, no complaining. It's one of the bugs that actually work in the player's favor. But I'm pretty sure... I should actually check to see if I have... Anything unlocked, like uh, Guardian stuff, but Iron Arrow, <laughs> how you doing? Half of your engineers have the automatic unlock without doing anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? Um, there's some bugs in Odyssey that are really, really annoying. And then there's some that are good, like the, uh, if your canopy gets blown out in Odyssey, just turn on your, um, night vision. Your canopy is still blown out, and you'll still run out of air, but you'll have your reticle. You know, L little things like that. Okay, it's obviously a bug, it's definitely not, uh, intended, but it's in the player's favor, so. The only bugs that they'll fix that FDev will fix is something that makes you a lot of money in a really short period of time. So. We are, uh, for Stryer, we are in a totally awesome Python. Got the ship kit and everything. Not the best uh, view today. There we are. I suppose I could just rotate the ship, but... Try that. There we go. I don't get tired of looking at this python. This is, uh... This is a ship kit that, uh... Actually, I'm happy I spent the money on it. They also apologize for fixing the Super Cruise reload. Oh, the Super Cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was for your ammo, right? Alright, is there anybody here? It makes it look like a big FDL. Yeah, it makes it look like like a science fiction Star Wars type ship. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of like it. All right, so we just need gas and then we're off there. We'll go back in the Super Cruise. We'll see if anybody drops in. Let me just uh, land here and I'll catch up on chat.
Any reloadable item, weapons, shield cells, heat sinks, yep. Wouldn't it be better off with standard SRB plasmas, more damage, less heat? Still TC, focused APA does very little damages. Yeah, so for Iron Arrow, um, this is what I had, but I agree with you 100% after what happened yesterday. Um, I, I agree with you 100% that regular plasmas are probably best for this ship because they're still too hot. But the idea though is with the APAs, you can spam them. Or they recharge so fast, you can have an almost constant stream of plasmas uh, firing. The regular plasmas take a lot longer. Uh, you, can you can engineer those as well to be rapid firing. Um, like I said, this is what I had. And you know, for, for kind of a fun ship, it's not bad. If I want to put the time into it, like really engineering a plasma python, that's what I would do, is I would have probably short range blasters <laughs> and stay really close if I could to the other player. Instead of these, which are uh, focused with thermal conduit. APAs fell off the meta when TLBs were nerfed. Ah, I see. Used to run an all plasma python. Agree, but python can't really keep on target for long, so you've changed your build. Uh, well, I still have the crate. Um, but you know what? I figured... I've been flying that same ship for a year and a half now, almost two years. And I wanted to do something a little bit different that didn't rely on torpedoes. So, had some luck yesterday with it, so I'll keep playing around with it. The problem is the time to kill is a lot less with torps and railguns than it is with uh, plasmas, for the most part. It's definitely... oh, I'm dropping. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's definitely more difficult with, uh, with plasmas. So this is a plasma rail. Well, here, I'll put it out. Give me a second here. Regular rail guns. I don't have Imperial hammers on here. And three uh, focused APAs. Two of them with thermal conduit. One with target lock breaker. It's quite cheesy and kept secret by a few PPP groups. Aha. But if you're talking about just blowing up your ship, I mean, is that what you're talking about, the destroyer? Because you can all you can get all of your ammo back just by blowing up your ship, and and rebuying it. <laughs> It'll cost you, but you know. But it gets expensive if you've got a ship with a 10 or 12 million credit rebuy. This one is, my rebuy on here is 13 million, no, 12 million. My rebuy on this ship is 12 million. So if I wanted to have premium ammo, and by the way, oh, I don't have premium ammo on here today. There is no premium ammo. Um, to reload it by blowing up, oh, there's somebody here. Cora Pop Jug. Uh, nope. Uh, we don't go after cutters. <laughs> it's not self-destruct, it's way more powerful, and that's why it's kept secret. Ah, okay. Why don't you go straight to Shinrada on a Saturday? Pretty crowded, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go there, but we're not gonna go there right now. We're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna go to Seoul now. I'd rather not get my head kicked in just quite yet. So let's let's have some. Who's here? Who's in Seoul? Skid marks. Oh, he's doing my shtick. Well, all right. Commander Skid marks is a PvP bounty hunter as well. He, uh, I said on a stream a couple weeks ago, he literally, uh, he literally steals food from my kids by what he does. <laughs> you try out pacifier in the Python. I I would have their destroyer. I didn't have any. 
Um, I'd have to tear apart. I've got a I've got a vulture with two pacifiers, and actually no, I made a stupid mamba with pacifiers. I made a frag mamba for some reason. So yeah, I could probably strip down the mamba and put them on here, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I just wanted to put stuff on it that I already had engineered. And for some reason, I engineered focused APAs whenever I first got APAs, however long ago that was. Pacifiers and missiles. I, I You know what? I can believe it. And the missiles probably have high capacity and uh, drag. And yeah, getting back to the comment there, Troy. Yeah, don't leak anything on here. Uh, YouTube is not really a gaming company, but yeah, putting just for anybody else. Not, I'm not signaling out anybody, but yeah. I'd rather not have FDev come around and <laughs> make a claim against my channel. <laughs> Thank you very much. I might not be Dr. Disrespect or Shroud, but, you know, this is my small slice of of YouTube, and, uh, I, I'd like to keep it. <laughs> By the way, the, um, the playlist today is 80s. Hope you like Bon Jovi. Hey, Fernando, welcome in. Long time no see. <laughs> All right. Walk the earth. Waves a little lighter in the air. Yeah. Yeah, I have no intention to let FDev know about a glitch that fully restocks your ammo <laughs> upon a single menu log. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's the thing, though. I mean, there are so many uh, issues with the game. There's no way that Frontier can know about everything that's um, wrong. Like, we're, I was talking earlier on, the bug about your uh, your pop canopy in Odyssey and just turning on your, uh, your night vision. Boom, your reticle is back, just like that. Magical. Uh, okay, so nobody in... Uh, I would imagine, though, that somebody is probably, you know, I, not that I care, but there's probably somebody is putting uh, bug reports about that. Did you know that if your canopy is popped in Odyssey, you just have to turn on night vision? For Abraham Lincoln. Because back in the day, if your canopy popped, um, the the cracks in the windshield would kind of line... Oh, the other thing that you could do is turn on... There's a little dot, like your, your mouse pointer dot. Some people would turn that on, and that might help them aim. Or they could line up the target with a, uh, one of the jagged edges of the, the, the canopy, depending on the type of ship you're in. Really high-level type stuff, but... Uh, that night vision thing is improvement to quality. It is. It's a, it's a total improvement. But I can't believe they put that in, though, like, deliberately. Uh, why would turning on night vision suddenly bring back your reticle? I mean, but... Again, not complaining. It's, it's an awesome thing.
They've been lurking channels where it may or may not have been discussed. Not that a mod would would monitor viewer lists as part of their job. That's one of the things about uh, YouTube. You can't really monitor um, who may or may not be uh, in the channel. Unless, unless somebody talks, you don't know who's here. You know how many people are here, but you don't know who is here. Which, in a way, is kind of nice, too, because there's no calling out people, so... Alright. Do we have anybody here? Uh, we do not. Alright, folks. Uh, we're gonna get gas. We're gonna go back to the Super Cruise. If there's nobody there, we're off to Shinrata. Night vision would be on the helmet, not on the ship. I think so as well, even today. Uh, if you ever, if you're in for a giggle, uh, just go to Google and look up the uh, the helmet for the F-35 or the F-22. Uh, awesome piece of equipment, very expensive, but everything is right in front of your eye. You don't even have to look at your instruments. Uh, and you're not looking through a HUD, either. Everything is, like, on your helmet. Which is pretty interesting. How many bugs after the update? Oh, Tavarish, there will be bugs. This is a major update, as they say. The biggest update since Odyssey. And, uh, oh boy. <laughs> That's why they're launching it on a Tuesday instead of a Thursday like they used to do. Actually, I think they used to launch them on Fridays. And they realized that the overtime cost for bringing people in on Saturday and Sunday... Nah, now we'll start launching on Tuesday now. Oh, we have bandwidth. <laughs> we have somebody here. Commander... Oh, we have... We have two. Stranic. Colaton. Alright, let's go to the stun. Because I'm 99% sure that's where they're coming from. Alright, now we're on Bravo. Let's do it! Okay, there's our first guy. Master. No faction. He's being chased by an NPC. Oh, there we Oh, skid marks. Holy schwack, we got a lot of people here. His squadron is... Crap. Alright, let's see if we can catch up to the guy in the Cobra. And he's been... yeah, Skidmarks is pulling him. Skidmarks is also... what's he got for weapons? Multi-cannons and, and rails. I don't have chaff. He'll, he'll shred this ship. No, we're not gonna go after that. Skidmarks will have gimbaled multi-cannons, and if you don't have chaff, you're taking you're taking uh, damage the whole time, and the other guy's gone. Uh... 
Just wish they would include more content for the explorers, your mapping sectors at this point. Yeah, uh, we were talking about that earlier on there, uh, Tavarish Dima, but uh, yeah, the new content seems to be almost exclusively focused at uh, Thargoids. So yeah, my view was, hey, it'd be great if you had like a political conflict between, you know, Federation, Empire, or you have to, the commanders have to choose a side. You no longer have access to your other uh, opposing faction ships, so if you choose Empire, you don't have the Corvette anymore, or any of the other uh, federal ships, vice versa with the Empire. So. I really should take that song out of my playlist. <laughs> Alright, well, nobody here, and yeah, Skidmarks is doing his thing. Alright, um... Let's go. Uh, you have to choose between the legacy stuff that hasn't really changed for the past couple years or the new life stuff, which implies that you're trusting FTIP to somehow not make the game even worse. Uh, you, you know what? Wait until Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, you know, once the, it goes live. Oh, boy. You just have to think back to when fleet carriers came in or ARCs, uh, the currency. I mean, they literally broke the game by bringing in ARCs and fleet carriers. Yeah. And let's not even talk about Odyssey. <laughs> it's like, I have never seen any any community anywhere. And why? Oh, did I? Uh, okay, we have to. Uh, no, it's too far away. All right, forget about that. All right, that's uh, next card is a white dwarf. I don't have a lot of fun uh, boosting off of white dwarves, by the way. <laughs> Hello, uh, quadruple A, welcome in.
Actually, we don't even need to. We're only 11 light years. The systems. <laughs> Your bandwidth, Commander Zork MID. All right. so bad. Plot of course to um, Jameson. It's probably where they're going. And they're gone. Alright. Well, we had a player in Super Cruise. Uh, Are you good at fighting in Elite, of course? Uh, no. I, uh, if you're talking about, like, an organized PvP, I could probably hold my own, but no. I am, uh, I am definitely not top-tier pro PvPer. I could probably confidently say, though, I'm probably one of the best PvP bounty hunters in the game. But uh, PvP bounty hunting is like the uh, red-headed stepchild of uh, PvP. Oh, we have bandwidth. Max Falcon. He's probably down by the star. He's not here. What have I done? Best torpedo pilot in the game. Except for today, I'm actually flying without them. There's Max. <laughs> All right. Remember, I'm just in it for the money. I, uh... But the funniest part, though, is when you do actually... You, uh, he actually, uh, he's, uh, he's asking, you're in a python? All right, who do we have here? We have at least... A, oh, we have one, two... Eternal Viking. All right. Oh, sorry, Eternal Waking. I don't know why I was calling him Viking. All right. Let's get to work, folks. Uh... I don't have a long-range um, kill warrant scanner either on this ship. Okay, that guy's clean. It's a shame. Uh, we have John English in a courier. And we're not even going to bother going after a courier. We have an anaconda. He's clean. And there should be four here. Could we not get? Zork MID. But he might have come here in a, uh, in a shuttle. seeing them. All right, well, let's get gas anyway. Let's 
standard uh, traffic jam at the dock. Anyway, this Orc MID. Betcha if we go on foot, we'll see him in the... You know what, let's do it. 100 ships at the entrance. If you're ever in the... Uh, if you ever want to get the... Um, occupied escape pods, you know, to unlock that, that one uh, guy out in Colonia. You can get them in Colonia fairly easily. But you can just wait for these ships to get blown up. And then scoop up the occupied escape pods here. Alright, I'm just curious, I'm just going to get out on foot and go into the concourse because I'm pretty sure that other commander is on foot uh, using the Apex uh, shuttle. Doesn't really mean anything, but I'm just curious. So. So that is all. And that foot, do you fight? Well, I have actually fought uh, a couple commanders on foot. Yep. Um, I don't think... Actually, no, that's not true. I have been... Uh, I took a shotgun blast to the face, and that was that. from a commander on foot. But, uh, no, I've had my fair share of victories on foot against commanders. All right. Is he here? You should see a little icon that says unscanned. Oh well. Let's go, uh, let's get back in the ship. What's the unscan you're watching for? So, if you're looking for a commander in the in the concourse, uh, somebody that you think might have come here in an Apex shuttle, when you get into the concourse, there'll be a, a little dot, and it, it represents the commander, and it'll say unscanned. And that's, that's where they are. And if you get close enough and, and look at them, then you'll find out who it is and, you know, their, their stats. But until you do that, it just says unscanned. All right, folks. Max Falcon is here. So it was this guy here, Zork MD. So I don't know. We'll go back into uh, Super Cruise, though. You guys see that explosion up there? There you go. So we're talking about how, how you get your cells um, occupied escape pods. There you go. So there's an occupied, o occupied, occupied, occupado. Good luck mass locking me there, uh, Max. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Watch this pro gamer move.
Who do we have here? Max and Meep Man 7. Expert. Well, let's check him out. It, it's... It, uh, yeah, okay. Standard Frag Mamba. All right. Two million. Time to pay up. Get a pretty good idea of why the guys use the macro.
No scope 360. All right, we got the hard part done. No scope 360. Oh yeah. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. That's pretty that's shameful. Bye-bye. <laughs> is burnt out. Yep. My uh, wake scanner is burned out. Oh, come on, game. I meant to click on Galaxy Map. See what happens. All right, catching up on chat. 
ARCS 07 L. <laughs> uh, for bounty hunting, the crate. He'll probably be dropped, but we'll see if he's here or not. Crusa Sector B24. FSD malfunction. <laughs> yeah. Where am I going? Uh, nowhere. F. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get fixed, because my ship is uh, messed up. Uh, nothing. This guy's got everything. Let's do it. Let's give him some money. All her for bounty hunting. <laughs> yeah. As bait. Well, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to chalk that one up with um Max Falcon uh 10 as a win. He drew first blood. He pulled me and then he ran away. I guess that's a win. As the best, yeah. Actually, uh, what Stroyer is saying is actually true. The uh, the hauler, believe it or not, um, is uh, is it the hauler? Or what's the other one? There's there's a one that looks like a like a really short, stubby uh, FDL. Is that the hauler, or is that is that what's the other one? I won, but at what cost? Yeah. The adder, that's it, the adder. Yeah, yeah. The adder actually, uh, it, the, the placement of the cockpit, like your seat in the cockpit is too far back. But if it was a little bit, uh, a little bit more forward, I think that would be a really interesting ship to fly around. It's just the visibility out of it is, is pretty bad. Maybe it's different in VR, I don't know. But uh, when it comes to, <laughs> he says, your stupid cell banks keep on helping you out. Yes, they do. DBS is quite good. Yeah, actually, uh, for Iron Arrow, I have got one that's uh, all rail for the Diamondback Scout. And I took out a commander who was in a python with that on stream, by the way. I had to, um, I think I had to reboot half a dozen times, but so did he. All right. Well, that was uh, Shinrarda. Um, give, me a, give me a second here and see if there's any point going back. Let's go back. We won't hang out there too long, but... There, there are people there today, so. What loadout do you have on it? Um, stand by. I should be able to, if there's a shipyard here. No, it's closed. Anyway, um, there's no shield on it, so it's all funny armor. And uh, hull reinforcements and four railguns. Um, too small, too, uh, too medium, long range, super penetrator. Premium ammo, constant premium ammo, with the old uh, blow up your ship, because the rebuy on it is, uh, I don't know, 500,000 credits. So don't tell anybody I, I said that. But I don't think I've actually flown that in a year and a half since just before Odyssey dropped. I did a stream 
you know, very last Horizon stream before Odyssey. And uh, that's where I used it. Dolphin has the best... Oh, the, no, no, we're not talking about the Dolphin there, uh, Stryer. <laughs> I get flashbacks fighting that sucker. It makes my tummy hurt thinking about fighting the Dolphin. The DBS, uh, W4 Chun, welcome in. Well, no, no thanks, Troyer. <laughs> you can keep your dolphin. Uh, I defer to, uh, I defer to the dolphin. Uh, for anyone in chat, I did have a 1v1 with Commander Stroyer's dolphin. I was in a vulture with two large cannons and the separation of the cannons on the vulture meant that the dolphin was flying right between the two it was horrible until i kind of figured out well i'll just turn off one of the cannons and then it kind of got a little bit better i still lost but not by a not by a whole lot <laughs> uh no <laughs> no thanks I, I still haven't claimed a bounty yet, so... But there's nobody here. You know what? Um, let me think. Let me just slow the ship down so we don't go zorching off. He's over here. That was the guy from you. That was, this is the guy that I let uh, go and then cow killed. That would be funny. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go check him out. See if he got a bounty in the meantime. We're off to weird. Uh, we are four jumps. Oh seven, Commander uh, W four Chund. But you know what? So far, I'm liking um, I'm liking the the Python as a combat ship. I never really used it as one before. But definitely plasmas. But somebody else was saying maybe it was uh, Stroyer. Frags, frags and rails. Um, the uh, the plasmas are fine too. Especially the uh, the APAs the, and their focus, so it's almost almost a hit scan, point and click type of thing. And one of them is uh, TLB, the other two uh, target lock breaker, the other two are uh, thermal conduit. So. But the big change was putting on the heat sink. I didn't have that yesterday, and the ship just. It burned up, you know, within the first minute it was gone, basically. So this time it lasted about five minutes, which was okay. But it lasted the fight anyway, let's put it that way. And you know what? If there's nothing here, we'll make it back to my uh, my station. We'll grab the exploration ship or something um, something that can survive Thargoids, I guess, fast. And we'll head out to the Kingfisher and see what that looks like. We'll probably take the Asp uh, for that.
Vashound. It's German. It means guard dog, spelled like Vashound. Vashound. Awesome. Hey. Well, anyway, welcome in, uh, Vashound. We have bandwidth, folks. We did. Spanky Long Johnson. I've seen that name around. But he's gone. Is this copyright free music? Uh, no, it is not. <laughs> However, YouTube hasn't uh, uh, given me a warning yet, so we're doing good. I would imagine, though, it'll probably pop up soon. But there's a difference between copyright music that can't be uh, broadcast on YouTube and stuff that can. And everything that I'm playing now, uh, you can play it. You can play it on YouTube. You just can't monetize your videos if you use it, which is fine. I don't care about that. I just like the music. There we are, Black Eyed. But I have had a couple songs that uh, were uh, blocked worldwide. So until I did some magic with the uh, the VOD, uh, I wasn't allowed to have the VOD up. So. You just need to hum beat it. Yeah, no, don't play anything by Michael Jackson. Don't play anything by Johnny Cash. Um, yeah, that, that is definitely worldwide. Or um, Don Henley, believe it or not. Don Henley is super strict. That's the advantage of YouTube's agreement with the music industry. Yes. Yeah, Father Bill's right. So, um... It is copyrighted music, no no doubt about it, and you can play it, and those companies that, that allow their music, they say, hey, fine, we get exposure. However, uh, you can't monetize your videos from it, which is great. It's a great trade-off, so. So it's been trial and error, and I've, you know, one by one, I've been adding songs and taking songs out, so. Which is also why I leave my VODs up, and people, lately, well, for the past almost year, people are really hesitant to leave their VODs up on uh, Twitch. Because they don't know what's going to happen. And all it takes with Twitch is uh, three copyright strikes. And, uh, you're out. Actually, three strikes total, so... Stream sniping, uh, strike, or... Saying naughty words, strike, uh... Copyright strike. Anyway, you get three strikes total and your channel on Twitch is gone, so... Unless you've got high-paced lawyers. Alright, Spanky Long Johnson is here. Elite in a Viper Yuri Grom. I think that's an enemy. And he's clean. Now, well, can't attack him here anyway. And if you've ever tried to shoot a Viper Mark III with plasmas, forget about it. We're not doing that. <laughs> I'll catch up on chat in a second here. All right, let's go. We're going to go get gas, then we're going back to the home station. And we're going to go see the Kingfisher. You have to head out. Have a great day, uh, Father Bill. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy the stream, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the other thing, too, about uh, YouTube. You don't get those pop-up every 30 seconds asking you to follow or sub or whatever. I kind of like that, by the way. That I, I like that that stuff doesn't show up on uh, YouTube. And I haven't had any of the sexy ladies uh, come into chat yet, so... 
they did the, the sexy ladies left a I tried to put a message on my YouTube video from yesterday but uh, nothing on stream so maybe they're getting the message I don't know he told them to stay out <laughs> All right, uh, where's my base? Right over here. Badge. I, I was saying one of these days I should click on the link, but I'll do that with a burner computer <laughs> from a coffee shop in the States. <laughs> Bashound, you're a total noob in PvP, you're a space trucker. Do you not enjoy fighting with a stock ship? No. Or the excessive engineering ships. Enjoy the pirate roleplay during CG events. Yeah. If you don't have any engineering on your ship, and you, uh, you're going up against somebody who does, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You're not going to have a fun time. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. You could probably get away with just A-rated stuff and four pips to systems. Maybe. There's a there's a there's a player here. Vorian Locus was just there. I saw the spike. All right, let's go back. Where were we? Orion Locus. We were here, sixty four Ursi Majoris. Come on, game pros. Go back. 61 Ursae Majoris. There was a player. Completely rando. Randos are the best. <laughs> There's no guarantee they'll still be there, but we'll find out. It's not a bad system, 61 Ursae Majoris. You can get cheap, uh, uh, cheap material there. But no, they're gone. Uh, they are gone. Oh well. Nope. Oh well. He had an A-rated Python with grade 5 engineered hull armor and prismal shield. It's five, five seconds against three ganker FDLs. Yes, that's about right. <laughs> yeah. However, if you were in a Python and they had FDLs, you probably could have gotten away with a low wake and then immediately drop down. Your best bet normally is just to do a high wake, but uh, they're not going to mass lock you with FDLs and you being in a Python. So you could do a low wake and then pull the throttle back and immediately drop down and then jump to another system and they'll never find you. But yeah, generally just submit, keep a cool head, four pips to systems, two to thrusters, Fingers crossed. Try to be evasive, I guess. Try spinning. That's a good trick. Oh, 
So yeah, this is the home station. Uh, not much really to brag about. Cheap tritium, if you want to sell tritium and make a profit that way. And it's pretty close to just about everything. It's close to Shinrata and Seoul and whatnot. There used to be interstellar factors here, but it used to be anarchy too. Uh, but all that changed when Odyssey came out. So. Cool story though about how I got this station. But I've told it before. I, I won't I won't repeat it right now. Play 99% and open. So damn easy to get money without exploit. Just submit, give them their three seconds of fun, and start a new ship. That's one way of looking at it, I suppose. But really, you know, if you want to, um, if you don't want to give in to them, uh, you know, probably the, the minimum things to engineer would be your uh, your shield and your shield boosters. And get the prismatic, you know, from one of the uh, the powers. Well, from Aisling Deval. And if you don't want to fight, but you just want to get away, that's probably your best bet. Prismatics, force shield boosters, engineered. Yeah. You know. All right, so let's grab a ship and let's go see the Kingfisher. We're going to take... Normally I'd take the long shot, but I was warned against taking a pure exploration ship out there. This one does like 69 light years. Haha. Uh -huh. But, uh... We'll take the bounty. And I can guarantee you nobody has a uh, ASP quite like this one. It's got everything in it, including the kitchen sink. Yeah, we'll just go over it. I think I might have gone over it on a stream maybe last week, but... Uh, it gets the job done. Alright. Weapons. Four torpedoes total. Reverbs, of course. Two multi-cannons. Gimbaled. Uh, overcharged with autoloader. Shield booster, a kill warrant scanner, chaff launcher, and a heat sink launcher. Military grade composite. Power plant is overcharged. And it is not, believe it or not, uh, monstered. Frame shift drive is just your regular 5A. <laughs> we do have sensors, uh, lightweight, and life support are lightweight. Here's the funny part, though. We have a cargo rack, prismatic. A fuel scoop, auto field maintenance unit, a collector limpet, planetary vehicle hanger, the interdictor, and a detailed surface scanner. It gets the job done, and it has a top speed of 545, and a jump range of maximum 44.8 light years. Let's, uh, let's do this. Now, somebody in chat had given me the, uh, at the very beginning. There we are. Hide sector. Copy that. <laughs> All right. Uh, control B. Let's go. 
207 light years. I was almost expecting to see uh, Netflix in the options there. <laughs> yeah. That's the exploration ship a pirate one to interdict. Be warned, interceptors might be joining you and the whole system around. All right. We'll, uh... You know what? I, I have confidence in the bounty. You know what? Before we launch... SS Bounty. Nice paint job. Azure. Shipron. All right. Off we go. Basically, you know, it's the kind of ship that says, uh... You know, what was that guy on? Yeah. We are... How many jumps to go? Six jumps. That's not so bad. So the only thing... Well, there, I mean, there are a few things I would change to it. I would get the pre-engineered uh, surface scanner. I might even have the materials for it, but we're not going to do that right now. Um, the frame shift drive would be a pre-engineered grade 5. Other than that, that's about it. Maybe overcharge the power plant, but not required. What I think I'm going to do is one hop before we jump in. I'm going to uh, drop the ship down. I'm going to take a very quick break. I'll get myself an adult beverage because it will be afternoon at that point. And uh, then we'll jump in. I don't think the break will be any more than two or three minutes. Hey, there it is. There's the Thargoid. Uh, you guys see it? Right there. Um, let's see if we can get the external view here. That, that orange dot right there, I think that's it, actually. Cool. It's on its way. I don't know if you can see it on stream. Anyway, off we go. Uh, in normal space, there'll be some jump in and attack and attack you. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's what I read for LBV 2012-26. Welcome in. And thanks for Duke. And L, thank you. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. I, I'm never sure if the resolution that I see comes across on the stream. Uh, whenever I look at the VODs, they seem clear, but, you know, at the time of broadcast... Which every now and then will drop down the resolution. Uh, what I find though on YouTube is it's always consistent. It's always really, really good. So, if it sounds like I'm shilling for YouTube, I'm sort of am. In terms of quality. All right, we are three jumps back. You're thinking changing your main ship from the Corvette to the Cutter for the same more shields, more jump. Have the power plant overcharged and monstered, yep. Well, or have both if you have the few if you have the funds for it. It's kind of fun. I it, it's it's an acquired taste. Um, I haven't really engineered a ship in a while, but you know, having an idea for a ship and then 
you know, collecting the materials and whatnot and building it and finding out if it works or not. It's kind of fun. Dude, the anaconda. Yeah, there it is. There's our... Uh, there's our Thargoid. Or Stargoid, whatever. And it's... Uh, they still haven't fixed that bug. The brightness of the... Uh, of the Stargoid... Uh, varies with the brightness of the star that you're right... right by. It's really weird. Bad coding. Elon Musk would fix that up, no problem. He'd ask all the people who do actual coding to report to the sixth floor at uh, 2 p.m. and to email uh, samples of the code that they've had uh, incorporated into the into the game file with screenshots. <laughs> That's actually literally what he did at uh, Twitter. So. All right. So enjoy the music. I'm going to take a very quick break. We'll come back. We'll have almost a full fuel tank. And uh, we're going to jump. See you in about uh, two minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. All right, we're back. That wasn't so bad. It's getting caught up on chat here. What flight six am I using? Uh, yeah, like L said, uh, Thrustmaster Warthog. So if you go um, under about, uh, so on my on my YouTube channel here, under about, there'll be a link to my Twitch channel. You go there. And there's an entire list of what I use for flight simming. And the uh, rudder pedals are uh, slot of ice. Well, thank you, Al. Well, you're listening to Art of Noise right now. If you're of a certain age and like progressive music back in the 80s, this was it. All right, 
We have nobody on the scanner. Or, uh, sorry, the scanner on the uh, bandwidth meter. All right, so what do we need to do here? What do we need to do? Does anybody know where we're supposed to find the Kingfisher? There's no nav beacon here. Am I the right system? Alright. Uh, YQ... Q, B51, honk and FSD, alright. Give me a second here. Catching up. Is near the uh, planet orbiting the B star. All right. How far is that? 5,000 light seconds? All right. Yeah, I, um, I'm, I'm going back and forth between reading uh, chat. All right, so we want... Uh, D-scanner. F-mode. Sorry, mode. Scan. Elder Balder, uh, welcome in, by the way. Honk and FSS, yeah. Well, you know what? Let's do the FSS. Um, high metal, co no. Concentrated signal sources, maybe. Yeah. Rogue, there we go. We turn off the music here. I'm assuming that's it, right? Doesn't sound all that great. That's the Goid. Well, that's the Goid. So that's not. Is the Goid next to the Kingfisher? No. Okay. How many goids are here? It's two at least. Move the scanner to the left, okay. Transient. 
upgraded. That's too far. Okay. Try that one. Go near the planet. All right. It should be a solid, uh, it should be a solid circle. Well, anyways, you have only POI the whole system. You can't miss that. Yeah, you're right. All right. That's, uh, you know what? Let's get going. Time's a wasting. Let's get back to the tunes. of interest so we will see them we won't see fleet carriers yeah kingfisher all right folks we're let's go back to combat mode here thanks chat uh for that obviously you can tell <laughs> i don't do a lot of exploration To be honest, though, it, it pays exploration pays a lot better than uh, bounty hunting. And if you are the one who finds uh, Roxla, oh, and by the way, uh, after the update on uh, Tuesday, there is there will be two modes to the game. There'll be Legacy, which is basically uh, Horizons 3.8. And then they'll be live, which is Horizons 4.0 and Odyssey 4.0. The problem is, uh, whatever happens, whatever you do in uh, Horizons 3.8 doesn't carry over into uh, Horizons 4.0 or Odyssey 4.0. So if you find something in the uh, Legacy mode, you're going to have to go back to the... Uh, a live mode and find it again to get your name on it. And if you collect materials in uh, legacy mode, uh, those those materials don't automatically transfer over to uh, live mode. You have to collect those materials all over. And basically, uh, legacy is being turned into uh, an offline mode. You play the game by yourself, and whatever happens there stays there. Except for background simulation, apparently, that you can affect the background get galactic simulation, but that's a lot. All right, here we go. Ho-ho! All right.
Hey, Commander Sir Sprocket. Well, folks, I don't know what everyone's so upset about. It's pretty quiet here. There's no Thargoids. There's no risk. Why would anybody be upset? Frame shift is an anomaly detected. Oh no. I'm not worried though. Yeah, what you got? What you got? Another frame shift anomaly detected. Wait for it. All right, let's see what happens. What you got? Eat hot lead. Eat hot lead. I think we're dead. <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. I think we can get rid of Kruger there, Al. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> FA off next time. I, I actually did go FA off as soon as I got hit by that uh, uh, the shutdown field. It didn't matter though. <laughs> okay, so where did I show up again? I'm back at Newton City. Oh man. Well, redeploy. Super fun, I would say. Did you expect to see something else, Cockroach? Yeah, it was just uh, for Kruger, the uh, the foreign language there. English only, please, if you don't mind me there. Uh, Commander M. Kruger, thank you. Is it too late to suggest? Wait, we, we, you know what? We can go back. Let's. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go back. We'll dock. Uh, what's the nearest place to dock? By the way, don't Google that, by the way. Docking. Uh, what is nearby? Well, there's this place. Somebody's there. Slavic hit you. All right. Well, uh, so I've been, I don't think I've ever been there. So it doesn't look to be that far. Let's go. Got nothing else to do. Actually, you know what? You're right. Let's do let's do this. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's switch ships. Bold as possible. All right. Uh, just take a th thermal vent beam. All right. So let's let's do this. That's uh, a cold ship. Well, technically, it's the dolphin, right? It's like the coldest, uh, or one of them, anyway. Stick to RPG. Should find a voice changer to sound like an old pink-haired woman. <laughs> yeah. No, the uh, the woman that I am em emulating there, uh, or that, that not that I'm emulating, the uh, for the avatar. If you ever watch The Simpsons, um, back in the old the, the golden age of The Simpsons, early '90s, Lunch Lady Doris, she was the um, the cook at the school cafeteria. So I sort of started with Lunch Lady Doris and just kept on going. <laughs> All you need is a thermal vent beam, and you can orbit forever in FA off. All right. But we still need a good ship, though, for Thargoids. And you know what? I, I don't want to get deep into the Thargoid stuff. <laughs> I got to be honest. It was, that was cool and everything. 
We'll go back there once more, but we'll switch ships. We'll take a fast ship this time. Um, we'll take the uh, courier. The irritant. <laughs> uh, for it's named the irritant uh, for good reason. I'll show you the specs on. This is the one that uh, myself and a few other people were helping Father Bill with. Uh, this goes back a while. But we were just interdicting constantly these uh, opposing faction that were trying to take Father Bill's system away from him. So we just interdict them and run away. Interdict, run away. They got pretty pissed off, which was funny. Funny as F, as they say. All right, a mine launcher. You know why I had the mine launcher, but we don't need that, so let's store the mine launcher. Of course, it's Ion. I think it was you who killed the uh, the Imperial Curry more of an irritant. Yeah, so nothing there. We have a jump range of... Actually, it's not that much worse than the Asp that I just had. Enhanced performance thrusters. Look at that, 851 meters per second. All right, we have a fuel scoop, we have a bi-weave, bare minimum, and we have an interdictor. We're going to drop the interdictor. What do we have now for speed? Still 851. That's probably the maximum, I think. There's, If, if you don't know, uh, FDEV have put a hard limit on their ships. And I think 851 is the absolute fastest you can ever get uh, an Imperial Courier to go. So here we are. Let's go. Heat sinks. Yeah, you're right. Let's put a heat sink on there. I don't think that'll affect the top speed any. It might affect the jump range, but uh, not the top speed. We'll find out. You can be faster with drag drives, but only a very lightweight. So, faster than 851? Do Thargoid Scouts still count? I have no idea there, MK. If anybody in chat knows if they count as elite, I don't know. Like I said, I don't I don't really do the Thargoid stuff. It's fun. To, it's interesting to read about it. But I have never done any Thargoid combat. I thought we would uh, respawn back in the uh, hangar, but I'm still in open, right? Yep, all right. Scouts are roughly the equivalent of a master dangerous NPC. Okay, all right. So yeah, somebody said put on a, um, a heat sink. That makes total sense. And you know what? I think I have the power. I could actually put on a better fuel scoop too, so. Fuel scoops don't add any uh, any mass to the ship, so... Yeah, we've got plenty of power. Alright, so let's go here. Uh, heat sink. Look at that, the uh, top speed stayed the same at 851. Now let's go to uh, here, let's drop the 2 alpha. with go with the three alpha if we have one we'll buy one there we go off we go all right i'm reading in the chat 
Uh, I don't really need the heat sinks with the uh, with this 850. You're basically unkillable. Avoid hit by caustic missile if you don't have limpet or can't make the ship overheat. Okay. Top boost speed on the courier is 885. 885. But here's the thing, though, uh, Yuna. I added the um, the heat the heat sink to it, and the speed didn't change. It kind of tells me that I'm already at at the limit. But if there's like a like a a quirk to get around that, cool. All right, let's go back. You engineered with drive distributors. Ah, okay. Instead of drag drives. Gotcha. Alright, how many jumps? S same number of jumps. Six jumps. I haven't flown this ship in a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your thrusters to find the yeah. There's a little trick that you can do that like somebody can hit you with four shells, or you can turn off your thrusters and, and fall into a high gravity planet and get really insane speeds. But just straight up boosting speed. 851 is like for what I was using the ship for. <laughs> It was pretty funny. Love the sound of the drives. Yeah. Hope I die before I get old. Big difference between hearing the song when you're like 18 and now when you're like in your 50s. <laughs> Just saying. It'll happen to you kids. Alright. Uh, four jumps to go. Nineteen seventy you came into the world, nine months after man landed on the moon. Yeah. Hey, I'm old enough that I remember going to the original Star Wars back in nineteen seventy seven. And lining outside in the snow because it was frickin' cold. That's what movie theaters were like back then, you uh at least where I lived, there was a theater, but you had to line up outside the theater, and you buy your ticket and you go get your seat. There's no big ass lobby like today. So. Nineteen seventy. Bell bottoms. Let's talk about the 70s. Yeah, bell bottoms and uh, big afros and uh, Anison and uh, the Pinto. Yes, the Ford Pinto. Kaboom. Well, we have an issue here, folks. The uh, 
Your mom had the Pinto? Oh boy. Uh, we never had the Pinto, but uh, a friend of ours had something similar. It was that AMC... The, the Goldfish Bowl car? Was it the Pacer? Whatever it was. It, it was it was bizarre. If you're in the back seat of the car, it's like you're in a goldfish bowl with the windows. It was weird. Wayne's World. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wayne's World. Yes. That's what she said. That's where that comes from, by the way. Farrah Fawcett hair, yeah. Oh boy, yeah. You thought they had big hair in the 80s. Oh, wait till you see the 70s, yeah. The movies Nail the Knife? No. I do not. Oh, shucks, uh, we need to get gas, all right. Kind of important. Oh, we can't get gas here. Uh, we have an issue. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, no, not realistic mode. We want map mode. Star mode. Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf. Good. Let's go get gas. We're not going to do a stream with folks where I run out of gas. I'm, uh, I'm not the FDF community managers here. It's not going to happen. Yeah, go economic. No, nope, no, nope, we're going to go. We'll, we'll do this the, the normal way. We'll get gas here, then we'll replot. He'll come and rescue me. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> I've done some cr cringe stuff, but uh, man. I haven't run out of gas on stream. No, which one? It was, uh... What do we have here? Lacrac. All right. What do we have here? Duan. All right. Technically, we have the gas to make it. Uh, two jumps. Let's go. Yeah, there's a streamer, and now this goes back a long... Oh, well, folks, we're going to have to stop the music. We have the, uh, the caution. We have our caution from um, YouTube saying, Heads up, we've detected copyrighted audio in your stream. And that's not bad. That's been two, uh, two and a half hours. There must be a lot of people streaming today. Our, their servers are overloaded or something so we'll give that uh, we'll give the uh, 80s music a bit of a break give me a second here music trying to find the music I had there we are Manhattan Jazz. That's the one I played uh, yesterday. So not not bad, all things considered. 
Hope you like piano music. Just imagine that you're watching an episode of Frasier. All right. Actually, everything worked out well. We got full gas at the same moment the uh, safe music started, and we're about to jump to... Uh, uh, the thing. The, uh, the Kingfisher. Yeah, I was saying there was a streamer, this goes back a while, who ran out of gas on stream and called the Fuel Rats, but... It was kind of iffy. It was... Almost as if it was designed to, without pre-arranging with uh, the fuel rats, to call people in to, you know, maybe get some content. But... Yeah. Okay, well, we have people here. Remoris. Uh, flu. Juan, Russet Mellas. All right. Well, we know where we have to go. No, we're in the wrong system. This is not the right system. It is. Well, where, where'd the planet go? There should be a planet here, right? YQ, YOQ, B51. You don't see it unless you honk? Really? All right. Uh... second here. No, sorry. Right. Oh, right. Okay, I'm in a different ship. Uh, D scanner. All right. Gosh darn it. Make this so complicated here. All right. So del delta. Because I never, I got my ship blown up, so I never turned in the data. That's why. Right. 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 You guys are absolutely right. So, yeah. So what happened is I was here, but I never turned in the data, so I don't have a record of it, even though I was just here five minutes ago, because the ship was blown up. All right. Fair enough. You know what? Fair enough. Still not here. <laughs> All right. What am I doing wrong? Second level scan. Let's go this way. <laughs> Maybe a bug. You know what? It might... Uh, I mean, it might be. Let's try this. You know what I didn't do, though? is dock nearby. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's go to the super cruise. Forgotten image. Not a bug. You have to DSS the planet or just target it as an unknown and fly towards it. Okay, so...
Right, so three bodies, right? Orbital plane established, bodies three. Great. So I go over here. Why do I only see two bodies? There should be one, two, and then the planet over here. So, I don't, I don't know. It's the, uh, the brown dwarf. Okay, high metal content worlds. That's the other star. Yeah, there's the Thargoid. Don't want those. So we're going to care about uh, this. That's probably another, yeah, another one of those. Are you intending to get the logs? Um, probably not with this. Uh, there we go. Probably not with this ship. Another rogue signal source. Thargoid. 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 Degraded mission, X player's wreck. Yeah. You know, there are some people that do streams, and this is all they do. And as soon as I see a stream where this is all they're doing, I'm like, uh, no, I don't want I don't want to watch that. And here I am. I'm I'm doing it. What's become of me? Alright. But it is you uh, relearning the game. Yes, I'm. I'm definitely learning stuff. How many rogue signals are there in this frickin' system, man? I I read that there's supposed to be like eight of these thargoids, right? So, tops. And I still haven't, according to this, I haven't uh, found them all yet. Oh, we found that one, we found that one. This is... Okay, we're done with this. <laughs> no offense, guys. We are done. We're going this way. Let's see if it pops up here. No. Eight. Stick your scanner on the planet. All right. Once we get closer to the star, we'll... Who do we... Anyway, I shouldn't have been doing that all in uh, head, head down type of thing. Sakashiro. Hey, Sakashiro, you're in, uh, you're in chat. Welcome in, by the way. Maybe I'll just follow this guy. If you're uh, if you're still in chat here, uh, Sakashiro, such a good bounty hunter, so crap an explorer. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Welcome in, folks. I see we have about uh, thirty viewers. So, 
Welcome over to uh, YouTube. Uh, we're going to try to check out for the second time the Kingfisher. I've already been here, uh, but the Thargoids blew up my ship, so... So I lost the data. I have a team invitation, sure. Absolutely, I'll take a team invitation. Advert free. That is uh, one of the definitely one of the best things about YouTube. No ads. Or the Apex Taxi. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Pops up when you're under uh, 1,000 light years. I had different equipment though on the other ship on the Asp. That one, the Asp was fully kitted out for exploration. This one is not. This is just stock uh, speed. So I don't have all the all the tools like the uh, the surface scanner and Kingfisher. Thank God. All right. <laughs> you know what? That th that that wasn't difficult, was it? <laughs> Why am I not seeing that planet though? So, because it wasn't scanned in the FSS, and because you're not close enough to the planet yet. System scan is complete. Ah, there we are. L, as usual, you have the answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. System, hearing that, well, I mean, there's the planet, so. That took a while. <laughs> I, I know. You know what? There's probably some explorers in the uh, in the viewership right now that are going, "Is this guy brain dead?" And say, "Well, possibly." All right, four pips to systems. Uh, sorry, two to systems, four to engines. Ah, let's make it four to systems. You know what? Systems won't matter, so four to engines. And we have no weapons anyway. No, the drop didn't work. All right, let's try it again. Every now and then you get a bad drop, so. No worries. Nah, it's, you know what? It's one of those things where people tend to, um, who do we have here? Well, we're dropping at the, uh, at Sakashiro. The game is doing its thing right now. This is kind of... There we are. It doesn't know if it wants to uh, drop me or not. Where we find out if we get a uh, orange sidewinder. There we are. Okay, so where's the ship? All right, folks, uh, let's go to where they're shooting. People are actually asking, does anyone have issues scanning with the, uh, the DL scanner? Commander Grimoris.
I was thinking, you know, maybe kind of silly to bring uh, the the bounty hunting ship out here. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. All right, so there's uh, there anyway. There's the uh, there's the ship. So we'll do a very quick pass. I'll try to avoid. It. I'm going to take all the lessons to heart here. So uh, avoid the caustics. Uh, F A on. I'm sorry. F A off. And let's see what we see. safe for now yeah in fact you know what I wouldn't mind getting the ship blown up because then I'm, I'm back it I can grab my crate and go back and try to make some money Let's see how close we get to these bad boys here remember I have no weapons on here at all so strictly speed Remember the learning cliff, if you turn on the data scanner, grab the logs while the Thargoids are busy. Data link scanner, bravo. All right, so what, what am I looking for here? Just scan the, uh, target the Kingfisher. Okay. So, data link scanner. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. The D scanner. Sorry. There's the ship uplink log. No, that's not the right one. Deploy weapons. Yep, yeah, the weapons are deployed. Data link scanner. There we are. Is there only one log, or are there are there more? Yeah, are there? Is that the is that the only one to download, or sometimes there's more than one? Uh, there's three, eh? All right. Log uplink. At the front, all right. See if we can get it before we get blown up here. Is this the uh, the front end? It must be, yeah. All breach. Power. You have to scan all three to get to get all the data.
Yeah, you have to get all three, eh? Okay. Trip log up one. Might have already scanned that one, I'm not sure. No, I think this might be a different one. And then, where's the other one? It's on the ring thing, alright. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we got we got two of them anyway, but uh, data's lost. Oh, well. Ship has been destroyed. Good try. Yep. Two out of three, as uh, Meatloaf saying, two out of three ain't bad. So, but you know what? I think we're done. Uh, so sure if you're still here. Thanks very much for that. Bye-bye. Uh, team. So, while we're here... Gosh darn it, I keep... So we're going to grab the crate. Use the heat sinks to mask the ship and gain some time. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I can totally see how that's... Th there's a lot of uh, strategy to get all, the, all three before you're... Uh, your ship is blown up. First of all, it's just finding where they are, right? Because you don't you don't actually see them until you're almost on top of them. And then to scan them, you have to be like within... It looked like 200 meters to actually scan the damn thing. Alright, so let's grab the crate. And you know what? We still haven't made any money. Mandalorian 5. Alright. They can be found on the panel 1. Target them on the panel. Gotcha. Yeah. Just that uh, they were attacked and that Goids were collecting escape pods. Okay. Yeah, from what I've read, that's one of the things that they do is they... Uh, now go do what makes me happy. Feed the kids. Yeah, it was, you know, it's all content. And you know what? It was kind of cool. Um, that nothing, nothing against that at all. That was, uh, Lucky B966, all right. We'll take friends with that. And, uh, let's go, let's go to Earth. Let's go to Earth and, uh, see if we can find some commanders with bounties. And then if not, oh, we have, well, who's there? Skidmarks, skid marks. All right. Well, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to step on his toes. But you know, it's got to be fed. Great five suits are going to be a thing soon. You actually think there, Sir Sprocket, that they'll have on foot uh, PV or on foot combat with uh, Thargoids? I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm, I'm just saying that. I would be kind of surprised if they do it, but... Only because nothing is leaked out. And uh, maybe maybe Frontier has become really good at rooting out, you know, internal uh, uh, spies and whatnot. It's the, the, the last major leak, but n absolutely nothing is leaked out of Frontier about what, uh, what we can expect. They brought in a zoologist as a game developer. <laughs> you know, you know what would be funny is if the Thargoids on foot are just reskinned dragons or, uh, sorry, uh, uh, dinosaurs from their dinosaur game. 
That would be... That would be so cheesy. <laughs> Velociraptors from... Uh, uh, Dino Zoo Park or whatever the hell it's called. Except they have laser guns. <laughs> okay. Something along those lines with many legs. Yeah. Yeah. That would be so funny if they... You know what? If they actually go into the game files... Somebody will go into the game files. And compare the uh, the dinosaurs from... Uh, the the dinosaur park game. Whatever it's called. I, I, I don't know. And uh, the Thargoids on foot. 98% the same. <laughs> same code. Yeah. Alright, we have... Well, we have bandwidth, folks. Let's get to work. Commander... We have two... We have three commanders. We have an embarrassment of riches. Uh, we have a cobra. We have an anaconda. That's, that's Sierra Alpha. And he dropped. The Anaconda dropped. Let's drop into his wake, folks. Yeah, we're gonna get toasty here. Yeah, so you know what? This is stupid, but... Yeah, this is stupid. Or as uh, Weird Al Yankovic saying, dare to be stupid. Dropping too close. Oh, he might have been here. But he's not. I think you actually... He... We... No, he's not there. Cool down a little bit here. Uh, we're we're fine. Go. Oh, that's the guy. Uh, Petrovis should have been the uh, the ana yeah. There's the anaconda guy. Competent. No faction. Weapon wise, we have. Still here. Still here, just too far away. There he is. Weapon wise, Maltese bursts. Alright. So, you know what? At this point, any bounty will do. Submitted. He's got a warrant. How much? 17,000. Time to pay up. He's been grommed.
Grom again. It's two Groms. Kids have new shoes. He says, come on, I just want to play the game. You are playing the game! <laughs> so I scanned him, I said, time to pay up. Come on, I just want to play the game. Yep, uh, and you are. And he's at the det uh, detention facility right now. And I'm not sending the friend request to be an a-hole, but just to tell him, you know. It was just business. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go get paid. Game well played. It was. It was. It that was. He says he wants to play the game. <laughs> You're literally playing the game. You had a bounty, and you never paid it off. Commander Petruvis declined my friend request. Oh well. What can I say? He'll probably go on Reddit. <laughs> I did... I, I, I did nothing wrong and I was ganked at Seoul and I had... I did nothing wrong. Don't be a bad boy and have a bounty. Exactly there, Sir Duke. I mean, you got it right. Pay off your bounties. That's, uh, that's the way myself and, uh, Skidmark, uh, Skidmarks play the game. Uh, if you don't have the bounty, then yeah, off you go. Unless you're power play. And we're bored, because we haven't <laughs> collected the bounty yet, but, you know. Anybody here? Nobody here. All right, let's get uh, let's get paid. Let's get repaired and rearmed, and we'll go right back out. Did you catch the action there, L? <laughs> so we had a commander in an anaconda. I pulled him. Scanned him. He had a bounty. I said, time to pay up. He says, come on. I just want to play the game. And I blew up his ship, and I said, you are playing the game, Commander. I said, I didn't say that part to him, though. As he was gone by then. They don't necessarily realize why they've been killed. They just assume that they've been ganked. I tried to do the pirate, sh oh, not the pirate, but the the NPC shtick. You know, time to pay up. Um, don't really have a lot of time, even though I have the macro to say why I'm pulling them. And I I used to do that first, and then I would start the whole process. But that just eats up precious seconds if you've had a full pull. So... But after the scan, if it turns out that they, that they do have a bounty, then I'll say, you know, time to pay up.
And you know what? They know exactly what's going on. They they know that they have... So anyway, there we go. 11,800. That's legit. <laughs> From Hutton Orbital Truckers. Pay off the fine. We had no use of torpedoes. That's a complete profit right there, folks. That's a profit of 11,000 credits. Pure profit. Let's go back. Kind of sad though, like 11,000 credits. I mean, I've had. Oh, well, anyway. Here I am. Yak, yak, yak. We have another player here. So that guy's Petrovic. That's the guy we got, Stranic, from earlier on. I believe we've had Petrovic alone. We have an adder. This will be an Apex Interstellar though. You can tell because there's no name for the ship. It's just blank. Yeah, Apex. However, you know what? This could be emergent content here, folks. We're going to follow him. We have... We have a shotgun and a tormentor. We're in a maverick suit, grade 5. Everything is fully engineered. But we're going to follow this guy, folks. And we might do some on-foot combat. Guessing the 50k fix me up expense. Yeah, I, I get. Yeah, so for Commander uh, Elder Boulder, all of my expenses are uh, paid for by the Pilots Federation. I just made that up, but it's a good story. So yeah, the the, the money that I spend on repairs and rearming and whatnot, that I get all my expenses covered by by the PF. So we'll see if we can track him again. He was an Apex Interstellar. I'm not too sure exactly, but it was somewhere out here. Perfect answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to make up your own fun sometimes in this game. He's following me. We have a somebody in a type six is following me. Being tailed. So remember, we're looking for an Apex Interstellar. We might not even instance with the guy. Day. All right. Well, it was a good try. Actually, you know what? What's what is around here? 
You are Apex Interstellar. Could be anywhere. Alright, doesn't matter. Let's head back. There is so much one can do in the game. You love the fact that you might get on foot to hunt down a player for all the bugs. I did, yeah, you know what? I did that uh, on stream a while ago. Um, just came across a commander at uh, Brustla who uh, was in the Apex Interstellar. I just followed him. It was 50,000 light seconds away. So it took some time, but it was uh, one of these ground uh, settlement, you know, massacre type things. So I just landed, you know, outside, got the shotgun, and, uh, you know, shot him a couple times. You know, completely, completely rando. You just have no idea what other people are doing. So, that was kind of fun. It doesn't happen all the time. It could have happened there if I'd been maybe a little bit farther away from Earth, and not so much in the gravity well. Able to keep up with the guy, but I lost him, and then the game never put us back together. So we'll just hang out here. See if anybody else drops in. We're not going to be here for very long, but... You never know. I mean, somebody could drop in right now. So it's uh, 15 seconds. So you know what? At 1820, uh, if nobody's dropped in, we'll uh, plot a route to go somewhere else. But I think uh, Seoul has been pretty fun. First bounty of the day. I'll take that. bit of our here yet uh we did uh, i had to go there earlier on to do some engineering on uh, the power plant and uh, there was nobody there it was quiet so it was uh farseer uh then Euribia, Seoul, uh shinrada and some stuff happened there like it always does uh, a member of one of the ganking squadrons uh arxx decided to pull me and have a fight so I said, fine, let's do it. And uh, I got the better hand. And he... Uh, he cowardly jumped away. So. As they say, you know, like in Star Wars, the Sand People are easily startled, but they will be back and in greater numbers. That's arcs. Hey, we have... Uh, okay. Anyway. We have uh, bandwidth. The last holo pilot. All right. Somebody's about to jump in or drop in. Came in when you fought Max, <laughs> and that was in a Python too. A, a uh, jury rigged Python that I really haven't flown before. All right, where's our guy? He's gone. He was here and now he's gone. Might've been at uh, Earth. Maybe trying to get the right angle to jump away. So he's not here. All right, so what I'm gonna do folks is I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna take a very quick break 
and I will be back in uh, a couple minutes. Enjoy the jazz, and then I'll try to go back to the 80s music uh, in a bit. See you in a couple minutes. All right, folks, we are back. All right. Um, yeah, let's go back into Super Cruise here. So yeah, if nobody drops in in the next uh, minute and ten seconds, we'll uh, we'll go somewhere else. <laughs> that was fast. All right, Commander Wilguri has just uh, instanced. There he is, and a cutter. Ho ho! <laughs> oh, uh, wipe! Yikes! Uh, yeah, uh, these guys are, these guys are not to be, uh, effed with, uh, well. <laughs> I doubt he's, fo I, I doubt that he's following me or stream sniping, so we actually might get the drop on him. That would be cool. I've gotten these guys once before. They're a massive reverse key, though. You do not fire torpedoes at guys who do reverse key. All right, so we had this lesson before, folks. What do you do when somebody's reverse keying on you? Uh, you come to a stop. Literally, you come to a stop. Look at him go! <laughs> Look at him go. And then you go forward. Oh, we're going to get him. Oh, yes, they all hit. He's down to 7% on his uh, prismatic. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> oh yes, this is the good stuff, folks. You're getting the uh, uncut raw. <laughs> he did not expect that. So he has a class eight prismatic. It takes five torpedoes to take out. Yeah, that was... Hey, Gubernator, thank you. <laughs> I was quite happy with that. Now, what could happen... ...is he overheats... ...and he burns out that last 7%. I shouldn't be doing this either. He has... Actually, he has no bounty. He's just a power play enemy. Let's do this again. Come to a stop. I can... We can take the hits. We got four pips to systems. We're fine for now. He's... There he is. It, there, he, there he goes. He's doing the reverse key. Yeah, he's going full reverse key. Like we talked about. Come to a stop. And don't fall into the trap of following the guy. Okay, we'll do the uh, shield cell bank now. Oh, he's far enough away. These guys are tricky. These guys are really sneaky. So you got to be, uh, you have to be sneaky in return. Yeah, he's back into reverse key. These guys. He's back into reverse key. Let's do the uh, shoot cell bank now. Well, he can't uh, cancel it. trick him. We'll try to anyway. See if we can, uh... Again, he's, he's, uh, it's going to be tough. Yeah, 
There's six kilometers, uh, shield cell bank. So close. No stop. And that's it. I'm out of shield cell banks. So we're not going to be able to, unless we actually get his shields down with this last torpedo. We're going to have to go. Time's over. <laughs> All right, let's check out the damage once we get to the other end. You saw how my thrusters immediately went down, but uh, let's see here. Seventy six percent. Module reinforcements at seventy eight. Life support. Well, he's going to have a higher uh, repair bill than myself. I think if I had fired all the torpedoes, uh, that would have worked. But he had a class eight. And it, uh, yeah, they take five. And there's no way around that. But yeah, we, we uh, definitely got the drop on them. So let's go get rearmed. Actually, can we do it here? Uh, yeah, we can. And the funny thing about that is, um, there was no there was no money involved. That was strictly power play. And we'll take off the fire groups. So the reason I did this is I only had two torpedoes left. So instead of firing them, normally I fire volleys of two, so a total of four volleys. Um, 
and most people know that. So now if I start firing the last two or even four torpedoes singly, they don't know because it doesn't show up on your screen unless you actually go over here and see the number of uh, uh, seeker missiles that are coming after you. You want to play the game, but your stream is keeping you engaged. <laughs> At least you got a nice repair bill for the shields. Yeah, so a class eight prismatic, you know how much those cost? They're like 200 million. <laughs> so yeah, he's going to have a lot, a lot of repair bill on that. Much more than me. So you know what? We'll chalk that up as a win, even though it was a tie. But uh, if you're just talking pure uh, repair bill, um, not that it matters, but he has the higher repair bill. So yeah, 200, 200 million for a class uh, eight prismatic. It's ridiculous. I actually have four. <laughs> I only have two ships that can carry it, but I have four of them, so. Yeah. You spend a billion on Prisma. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ridiculous, but yeah, I, I, I've, if I were to cash in all my Prismatics, I don't know, a couple billion. As for uh, keeping you engaged there, uh, Sir Sprocket, uh, excellent. We're gonna go back though. So anyway, Wipe is a PvP group. Apparently they came over from a console uh, a while back. But I've actually, they're really good too, by the way. But I've taken out one of them. Oh, you're in. Hey, you're just listening, awesome. Yeah, I took out one of them in a cutter right at Shin, uh, Jameson Memorial. It's in one of my videos. That was kind of funny. They did not like that. <laughs> not one bit. Hey, Strayer. Um, well, kind of got the drop on wipe. Uh, it ended up to be a tie. But uh, the guy in the cutter was doing the standard reverse key thing, so I said, hey, what, how do you handle a reverse key? So I came to a stop, and he boosted straight at me. I fired off only four torpedoes. I should have fired six, but I only fired four. And they all hit, but his prismatic only went down to 7%. And after that, he just did the orbiting thing. So, so I'm going to kick myself for not firing all the torpedoes, but... Reverse key rail cutter. That's exactly it. Go back about five minutes in the video. Maybe ten for to see the start of it. But, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Your reverse key rail. And, uh, once my shields went down, he was definitely going for the thrusters. But, uh, I did a reverse key on a cutter. And I was able to jump away. Back we go. But yeah, for anybody watching, if you're if somebody's doing the reverse key on you, or pips to systems, come to a stop. Just come to a complete stop. That's all you have to do. And if they want to keep doing their shit, they gotta uh, boost towards you. As soon as they boost towards you, you boost towards them. If he's there, he's not. Uh, he's not going to be uh, caught the second time. Stop and start waking. They will either give up or chase you down. Oh, we have somebody here. We have two: uh, Wilguri and Peppy. All right. A, a dolphin. Oh my. Well, there you go, Stryer. Uh, we have a dolphin. Oh, and we have a cutter. Thank God. <laughs> this game, I tell you. 
Ask and ye shall receive. Dangerous. And Zachary Hudson. Power play. We're going for the cutter, folks. I would rather go after a cutter than a dolphin. I have to, I gotta be totally honest with you. He submitted. Scan him. We grommed him. To this guy. Ah, oh, shit, that's the wrong guy. Oh, it is the same guy. It's wipe. All right. It is wipe. All right. He submitted. Them. These guys are, yeah, you know, cold-blooded, so they know that a couple rails aren't going to hurt them. Let's wait out the 20 seconds. And there's a cooldown period, so I can't grom them again until 30 seconds have gone by. So you know what? I'm not going to waste any more. Railgun ammo and Grom's on the guy. Ah, there we go. <laughs> we have girls. <laughs> they finally showed up. Thanks, Al. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Uh, Epi. And there was a low wake. Stay away from the white guys, because they're uh, they're switched on. They know what's going on. There we go. Um, Chieftain. Back to Charlie. Commander Texas, Elite, Esca, uh, Spanish guys. I know that squadron. I haven't seen them for a long time. That chieftain definitely has more maneuverability than this thing. Shoot me, bro. You're free to go. Oh, 07. So, yeah, if you've just tuned in uh, to the channel, um, so it's uh, PvP bounty hunting. So, the other player has to be, uh, uh, be carrying a bounty or be a power play enemy. And that guy was uh, clean. Commander Mocaster.
Could be about to drop in. A lot of course to earth and uh sure, Galileo, why not? Oh, he dropped out. Uh well they might be at you know what? Let's uh, go to Abraham Lincoln. And then we'll try to get the 80s music back on. I almost thought it, this guy was going to pull me, but, uh, not to be. And you know what, while we're here, we'll get, uh, rearmed. Right back by the star. I, I keep saying we'll only be here for another minute, and then people keep dropping in. So, uh, no complaints at all. Uh, at least there's content, uh. He's coming back around. I think he just wanted to see what my loadout was. Well, he's... Well, he's hollow triangle now. I don't know. A little bit late to be doing that if he wants to pull me. But anyway. Alright. We have people here. Yeah, there we are. There's that one guy. Monkester. Expert, oh, wipe! <laughs> In a uh, DBX, alright. He's a power play enemy. And he's clean. So, even though he's power play enemy, and you can normally attack him anywhere, you can't attack a power play enemy right at the station. The station will uh, freak out. It would be different if they had a bounty. So if it said warrant, you can, you can attack him right here. But... Uh, that doesn't carry over to power play. So, fair enough. Off we go. Yeah, so if there's nobody, uh, I, I keep saying this, but so if there's nobody uh, in Super Cruise at Seoul by, let's say, uh, 1852, we'll head back to Shinrata and uh, maybe start thinking about wrapping things up. bandwidth and you know what so far every time I've said that somebody's dropped in shortly after so Oh, but another 45 seconds. Damn. 
I don't know if you were here for it, uh, Destroyer. Uh, I had a 1v1 with uh, Max Falcon 10. Oh, somebody's here. <laughs> it happened again, boss. The Big J. The Big J. There he is. Just, oh, uh, what was that? Anaconda or Cutter? I, I, I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Nope. Python. No faction. What's he got for weapons? Beam laser, seekers, multi cannons, point defense. That's our target. We'll see if he's got a bounty. Lucky B1966, thank you very much. If you're watching the stream, I can't answer you in game right now. I'm busy, <laughs> but I'll get back to it. Scan him. And he's clean. Three to go. Oh seven. All right, well, I, we're done here. Uh, let's go back to the Super Cruise for a bit. One last check, make sure there's nobody here. Wow, actually, Gray Shadow. Man, this, this system today is just hopping. Gray Shadow. Gray Shadow 40. You were using the Python? Yeah, I was using the Python. Yeah, I actually beat him. Well, I, I got to the point where I got his shields down. I was using the rail guns to go after his uh, frame shift drive, and he jumped away. So, I don't know exactly where in the stream it is. A couple hours ago. But he pulled me. I, I I didn't want no trouble, man. I I don't want no trouble. But anyway, he pulled me, and uh, I gave him some trouble, and he took off. The gray shadow is not showing up. It's arcs. Yeah. True. True. All right. Well. Uh, we have so for the for, uh, for the people here. We have players. This guy is wipe. I'm pretty sure Texas. No, no Eska. There we go. Okay, and there's the other guy, right? Roadrunner. Is that a wipe guy? It's a cutter. Gray shadow. Gasa. No shields. Did he just log out? He's still here. All right, we have a shieldless. <laughs> we have a shieldless cutter. He's not power play enemy though. Where did he go? Gray shot. Oh, he logged out. Ah, uh, is there a low wake? He low waked. All right, let's go to his low wake. Okay, so Commander Gray Shadow Forty is in a shieldless cutter in Seoul. Uh, I mean, how can you not go after that? <laughs> not quite sure where he dropped, though, if it was at uh, Interplanetary Road Trip. Maybe he's do he actually, the guy might be doing uh, the sightseeing thing. 
Or he's at, no, no, he's at Abraham Lincoln. All right, that's fine. But it's not too often you find a shieldless cutter uh, anywhere. Flying in, open in the 200... Yeah, I know. It's uh, very rare that you find that. Ray Shadow. But it, he's got money, though. Obviously, he spent money on uh, spacesuit skins. Uh, the Green Pumpkin. So, for some reason... Yeah, maybe it's a hull tank. You have no idea. We have bandwidth. We have gray shadow. There he is. Scan him. He's got a warrant. Die. How much? 54,000. Twenty-four percent hull. Eight percent hull. We got him. Oh yes, that's the good stuff. <laughs> Air traffic control is still talking about moderate traffic. No whole thing. Oh, what do we have here? Wipe. He's clean. Gosh darn it. We gotta go. We're trespassing. <laughs> he was on autopilot. <laughs> Probably. How much money do we get? Oh, actually, we got a lot more than I thought. 31,000 by Perez. 13,000 by, I'll, I'll let chat pronounce that one, Creative Industries. Another 80,000 by the Pilots Federation, and he's a bad boy. 10,000 by Iabulu, so he's doing ground uh, stuff. And all that cost me was a, a 2,600 credit fine. Pure profit. Let's go get paid. <laughs> I love this game at times. All right, uh, we're looking for... Interstellar factors. Let's go. So that's uh, two bounties uh, today. This one is well over 100,000. That's legit. He probably had a full load of cargo. That has got to sting. Yeah, I don't think you can actually buy cargo at Abraham Lincoln, but they you can sell them stuff, yeah. Unless it's like, you know, like um, you can buy bio waste, I think. But they definitely buy metal. They buy silver and whatnot. Excuse me. Anyway. Yeah, it's always a good day when you get a shieldless cutter. Um, <laughs> with a bounty. And not, not some wussy hundred credit. That's, that's, that was real cash. And I didn't even have to fire a shot. That, w that one there was pure profit. So... Other than the fine. In fact, I mean, and I'm not sending the friend request to be a dick, but just to tell him why. You know, he had a bounty. Previous guy declined it. <laughs> Fair enough.
Gearless Cutter with the bounty. He probably hadn't the money for a rebuy. Uh, probably, he probably did their Gubernator. He just didn't want to pay it off. Or some people don't know how to pay off, how to pay it off. I mean, seriously. Uh, you see questions every now and then. How do I pay off a bounty? You know? The cargo space you gain by removing a size 6 shield on a cutter is not going to make up for that rebuy. No, it will not. No. We'll see if he uh, answers the friend request. We'll find out if I sent him back to a sidewinder. Most people don't really care about having a bounty. No, I mean, it's just one of those things that, you know, if you like to have a nice clean ship and everything's in order, you know, if you if you have that personality, then yeah, they'll pay off the bounties and everything will be, you know, above board. But if you don't care about that, you just want to, you know, you're just doing your own thing. Sometimes they forget about them and, uh, you know. A lot of people do not understand how to use and find interstellar factors. We all forget the learning curve on this game is painful. It is painful. The learning curve here is uh, is bad because there's not even any official. You, you can find out stuff by you know going to Reddit or YouTube or whatnot. But at least with uh, like the other uh, Sims that I play are, are DCS World and uh, X Plane. You want to find out how to fly an F-18. There's an actual manual. I mean, it's a, it's a manual for the game, not the not the real F-18, obviously, but it's a manual for the game, and it's still pretty thick. It's like 800 pages, and uh, everything you want to know about the F-18 is there. This game, nothing like that. So, there's a so-called pilot's manual, but. It's, it's, it's kind of silly. It doesn't have any of the uh, the fine grain details in it. All right, so I think we're done with Seoul. We're gonna go to Shinrata, and then, like I said, start thinking about wrapping things up and uh, stop the uh, jazz. Let's go back to '80s music. There we go. Get a heart attack from a f from from a find. Yeah. Right. Uh, contacts. Fifty-four thousand four hundred uh, through interstellar factors. I'll pay off my fine. That's pure profit. Another fine. Another twenty-eight thousand, almost uh, seventy-five thousand, folks. That's legit. Oh, and eighty thousand from Pilots Federation. How do we get that? I might have to claim that one in uh, Shinrata. Give me a second here. That might be a bug. How much does a torpedo cost? Uh, 20,000 credits, I think, is what a torpedo is. But like I said earlier, uh, roll-wise... We have to, we got a warning here. Let's switch up the music. It might just be that one song.
try Starman. See what happens. So if you're if you're watching, a uh, bit of a warning from a YouTube, but it came up right away as soon as uh, that song was playing. So that one song might have a a higher visibility with YouTube. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's uh, we'll stop the music. We'll we'll clear the warning uh, from YouTube. Then we'll go back to Starman. And uh, where were we? Oh yeah, uh, the bounties. Eighty thousand by Pilots Federation. All right. there this might be one that you actually have to clear in or uh, collect it to Shinrata which we're gonna go there anyway so oh it's a sorry it's a bond it's not a bounty it's a bond there we go pilots federation bond 80,000 That works. I'll take it. We're clean. All right, let's go to Shinrata. Uh, it's uh, new socks for the kids as well. Yep. All right. So we have uh, the the warning has gone away. So we're gonna go back to Starman. If the uh, stream comes to a, a stop. Uh, it'll be because of uh, music, but I think Starman is fine. So far, so good. Alright, four pips to systems. We're on Charlie. Uh, Nipakurge. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We have bandwidth. Commander, uh, 
the Magus, sure. Probably on his way to uh, Jameson. Still here, still in, uh, uh, still in the instance. Just can't see him yet. That's oh, there he is. Nope, somebody else. Anyway, Raza, zipper in the courier. Uh, okay. We'll never catch up the courier, but we'll still we'll check him out anyway. Deadly. Power play enemy. Power play enemy, folks. Submitted. No money on him, but we're going to try to get him for power play. Damn, that thing's fast. No. <laughs> no, we're not going after a, a speedster career. Even for power play. We're done. <laughs> yeah, no. off. So if nobody else shows up, well, we haven't checked out the uh, the station. Let's go back. Let's go to Jameson Memorial. And I've been streaming for uh, about four and a quarter. Yeah. If he was really mean, he'd have fought back for a little bit. Yeah, you know what, couriers, man, it's fun uh, to do to do that. But uh, and you can actually get them if you've got uh, the long-range rail guns and premium ammo and really good aim. Oh, uh, no, NPC. What I found, though, is I, I uh, got myself a VR headset. And aiming railguns in VR is so much easier because the uh, the screen is right in front of your eye. And instead of real life, like right now, the screen is about a foot and a half, well, like an arm, arm and a half away from me right now. problem though is I can't stream um, yet wearing the VR headset I don't have all of the uh, all the overlays that some of the other streamers have so that you can see chat and type and and whatnot so it's definitely a solo experience
Alright, we have someone here. Wuggy Wuggy, the Magus, the guy in the um, uh, courier, Zork MID. That Zork MID guy was here before. Never saw him though. Alright, Pancake. That guy's got a warrant. Squadron is H O R S. <laughs> At 200 credit bounty. Alright, this guy. That guy's got a warrant. Aha! Uh -huh. 2.8 million. That's our target. See what happens. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's a race at this point. The people watching the stream sending this guy messages, friend requests and whatnot. <laughs> to him seeing my message and say, oh yeah, sure, I'll help you out. I'm on my way. So it's two and a half million. 2.8 million and no weapons gotta like that <laughs> gray shadow 40 hey welcome in <laughs> how you doing gray shadow you're back at Seoul Um, and you're dead, yes. It was pure business there, uh, Grey Shadow. You understand that, right? You had you had a bounty, and I do uh, I do bounty hunting. But, uh, yeah, your bounty's added up to about 100,000 credits, so... Vantez, welcome in. So we're here at uh, Shinrata. This commander in the Anaconda, Moose Shoot the Magus, has a bounty of uh, 2.8 million. Gray Shadow says, it's all good. Excellent. Thanks. Well, the problem is, how do you get the guy off the pad, right? So, uh... I, what I, I've sent him a message saying, hey, all the large pads are taking, can you launch? Oh, it's unmanned. He's... Alright. Alright, alright. Let's do this. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! His uh, ship flipped around. All right, so he's he's getting out of the ship. Oh, did he log out? He's still here. We have a crate. Oh, oh, he switched ships. All right, nice. No, it's Odyssey. The bounty should be the same. Warrant. Yes. 2.8 million. Yeah, he changed ships. Surprise, he's back. Well, he's expert. He's got a, a bounty of 2.8. He's in a uh, crate mark two with no name on it. It would be, uh, I'm not going to wait here all day, folks, but you know, for 2.8 million, I think 
I think we can uh, have a little bit of leeway. If it was like a 200 credit bounty like on that other guy, you know, forget about it. 2.8 million though. That is definitely uh, worth waiting around for. You don't think he'll go? Well, he's, he's there. I, I mean, he switched ships, so... Maybe he was saying, well, I'll just go to a, a medium ship so the guy in the big ship can land. But by this point, people are talking to him. 100%. So... But, uh, I see we have uh, about 30 people here. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we have a commander, Mushu. 2.8 million credit bounty. And uh, I'm going to try to get it. Got another warning from uh, YouTube. So we'll switch songs. We'll see what happens. If the stream ends, uh, it's because of uh, copyright. You should be fine, though. I think it's better if you back off from the sensor range. I, I agree. Uh... Probably too late, but if he had scanned me, it's too late. But, uh... He's doing... Uh, he's switching modules around. There we go. I switched songs, and uh, we're back to excellent connection. No warning. So, certain songs... Is that an AX ship? Uh, let's find out if it's an AX ship or not. Guardian Goss Cannons. It is. And he, But don't feel sorry for him. He's got a bounty of 2.8 million. But I, I can't stay here forever, of course. You know what? It's uh, 25 minutes after the hour. Um, let's give it two more minutes. So at 27 minutes past the hour, if he hasn't launched, we'll just go. Are you talking about the ones that they gave out for Dr. Evil? The, the ones that they gave out at the uh, CG uh, a couple weeks ago? It was, um... Phasing, multi-cannons, and, uh... Is it plasma chargers? I, I, you know what, I forget. But there was a total of four things that you could get. Yeah, 75 raw damage per charged shot. Okay. The, uh, the multi-cannons look kind of interesting, but the thing is they were fixed. You only got two. And they were medium. And uh, I think people tried them out, but then realized trying to aim or trying to use fixed multi cannons is kind of a it's kind of a pain. Overcharged plasma charger, rapid fire Gauss cannon. Okay. So remember last Christmas uh, they came out with these. Um... Oh, for crying out loud! We're gonna have to stop the music. Sorry about that. YouTube is being uh, finicky with uh, 80s music, so we're going to go back to jazz. Nothing we can do about that.
You can't target you. Uh, they can target you. Um, oh, well, whoops. all right. This guy's got a warrant. <laughs> chatting, letting criminals almost get away. There we go. <laughs> 200 credits. <laughs> I kind of feel bad about... I actually do kind of feel bad about that one, but it'll go away. <laughs> Somebody wanted that guy dead for 200 credits. That's my job. <laughs> Alright, let's see if the 2.8 million guy is still there. <laughs> Rip Boogie Woogie, I know. I like the fact, though, that he's now at the uh, detention facility, uh, 70 light years away. Oh! Oh, he switched ships. He's in a Type 10 now. Isn't that something? Oh, boy. And it says clean. Did he pay... No, he... Did he pay off his bounty? No, he still got his bounty. 2.8 million. Anybody else here? Like I said, I don't want to hang out too long. Anyway, this guy, Puggy Wuggy, yeah, he's like 65 light years away at the uh, detention facility because of uh, a 200 credit bounty. Pay off your bounties, folks. Well, we're done here. We're not going to hang out here all day. Maybe he was a decoy? Ah, uh, you never know. It, it has happened. Believe it or not. Alright. So if there's nothing in Super Cruise, we'll go to, uh... What's nearby? Leasty, I guess. We have bandwidth. Commander, the Itchy Donut. It's familiar. OPIX squadron. Aisling Deval. So definitely not power play. Uh, torpedo. What kind of an a-hole uses torpedo? Torpedo, torpedo, torpedo. A Grom. Railguns. He, he's like, he, this guy's like literally copying me. It's like copyright infringement. I call copyright infringement on this one. Alright. See where we went. He's gone. Probably just too far away. He's probably going to one of the... Uh, there's a surface port over here. Get that glitch. Keep going a little bit, see if we uh, pick him up again. Yeah, 
Yeah, gallons. All right. I think he's gone. Right, fair enough. Well, folks, uh, I've been streaming for four and a half hours. I am going to call it a day. Uh, definitely want to thank L for moderating today, making sure that the uh, sexy ladies are keeping me uh, pure and away from here. Uh, Father Bill for stopping by. If you haven't uh, subbed to Father Bill on Twitch, definitely uh, do that. He's an excellent streamer. Um, let me just see if uh, people have subbed. I'll check my email. Yeah, for the uh, people who have subbed to uh, YouTube channel, thank you very much. And for everybody who is watching, thanks very much as well. Um that's probably it for streaming for this week so generally Fridays and Saturdays that's when I, uh, I stream probably around 5 p.m. on Fridays and uh, 10 a.m. on Saturdays Eastern North America time so have a great day folks and uh, I'll catch all of you later and uh, fly safe and when you do the update on uh, Tuesday and everything is broken uh, just remember that's the way they want it all right. Bye-bye.